very quick demo, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll really quick. You guys have all seen uh, spreadsheets like this. In this case, I went and got 190 of the baby names. It's the only list I could find on it because I sort over in five minutes. Uh, and uh, got 237 countries, randomly created a spreadsheet which basically shows the countries they took it to. And the question I would ask is, uh, who went to the US and Canada? And so you could redo the data so that you look like this. And you could then say all the people who went to the United States, who went to Canada, great. Now who went to the US and Canada? You could probably write a formula to figure that out. Now over, unfortunately most of these have a limit to the number of rows. I believe Excel is still at 65 by whatever. One million. Is it one million now? Yeah. Good, cool, fantastic. I'm still using Excel since 2002. Uh, but, 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 so uh, let's do it. mapping between person ID to country ID. Pretty simple stuff. So then we do the last person. basically the uh, quick demo of what a database looks like. For an average person, what they would use this for, you could store uh, huge amounts of data, about your, as Colin pointed out, library information, your books and horses, uh, if that's what you want to do. Now, you're doing a little bit more advanced stuff. So what 